Hi everyone, I am going to very quickly go through the guided and independent practice sections for Savas Lesson 11.2. We are doing two-step word problems using multiplication and division. And to start out with, we're going to go ahead and cross out uh, the section over here. And that is only because um, we are not going to flip back over to uh, to page um 580 for the purposes of this one so that one i do recommend that uh, that you answer these as you follow along with the visual learning video on the savas website so uh but we will go ahead and start over here like i always say make sure that you are reading all of the instructions it says in three right here complete the bar diagrams and write equations to solve now first step of course is to read through and always highlight circle or underline the important information usually the figures, the quantities, the numbers that they're giving you. There is a total of eight students in two school vans with the same number of students in each van. Same number, each van. The admission fee for each student is $5. What is the total admission fee for all students in one van? Don't get too... Uh, caught up on looking for both vans. We're looking for one van. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need to figure out what number goes on top here. Okay. And then we're going to figure out our equation as well. So if we have eight students and two vans, well, we have a hint here. We're substituting S. Remember in equations, you're going to substitute a letter for the missing value for the missing number, right? So the students in each van, we're, we're using an S to represent that. Well, there are two boxes, so we know that's the two school vans, right? Plus it says it right here. So we're going to put an 8 at the top. Now we know that means our equation is going to be 8 divided by 2 equals S, Okay, well, let's figure out what S is. Well, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So S equals 4. Now, down here, we have F for the total admission fee. This is a number we do not know yet. We know that $5 is what, what it costs for each student, and there are four students in each van. We're only looking for one van, right? So we're going to put $5 in each one of these boxes. There we go. And our equation then is going to be F equals five times four, because we need to figure out what does it cost for four students and if the admission fee is $5. So that means that F equals $20. So it will cost $20 for one van of students to attend. Of course, that means in total with both vans, it will be 40. But the answer here is going to be 20. And you see that we used uh, the bar diagram and equations to help solve that problem. So moving down to these, it says in the directions in our independent practice section, in four, what's this one right here? Draw diagrams and write equations to solve. Use letters again to represent unknown quantities. The reef saves $4 each week. After six weeks, he spends all the money he saved on three items. That's all the money. All the money he saved on three items. Each item costs the same amount. How much does each item cost? Remember, on all of these, and that was the same thing up here as well, on every one of these, there's also a hidden question. Okay? So always look for the hidden question. I'm going to write that right here. Look for the hidden question. So here we need to figure out a couple different things, right? That's why these are two-step problems. So we have a roof spends or saves $4 each week. $4 each week. After six weeks, he spends all the money. Well, let's go ahead and use an S to represent the value that we don't know. We will draw that out on the top here, right? This is the money. This is what we don't know. But we do know that he saves $4 each week for six weeks, right? So if we were to draw this out, it would look something like this. 
that you should have six boxes. And each one of those you're going to put four dollars. Now I'm not writing the, uh, the dollar sign only because I did not leave myself enough room, but you should always make a practice of doing that. So S, and we've got $4 for each week. So our equation then could be S equals 6, we've got 6 weeks, times 4. Or S equals 4 times 6. Remember the commutative property, it does not matter which direction you put those in. So that means that S equals 24. Okay, so now we know that Arif has $24. He saved $24, but we also know that he spent all of it on three items, right? So now we have, we have right here, we're going to go ahead and put 24 at the top because we know the amount, 24 at the top. We're going to draw out another bar diagram with three spaces in it. But we don't know how much they should be. And I'm going to use an I to represent the cost of each item. Okay? So then our equation here is going to be, we're going to do three, well, you could do a couple different things, right? Let's actually do it. Let's do it as a, um, let's do it. Let me pull this down here. Let's do this as a, let's make it look like a division one. We can do it as a, uh, as a multiplication problem as well, and I'll show you. But let's do this first as a division equation. Go ahead and erase that right there. Get our pen back out. And now let's do it this way. So if we're going to do it as a multiplication, or excuse me, as a division problem, then we're going to say 24 divided by 3 equals i. i equals 24 divided by 3 is 8. So we're going to put an 8 here, which means that we would substitute in these boxes 8s for each of those i's, and that means, and we need a little dollar sign there too, right, that each item that Arif bought costs 8, or cost him $8. Okay? Now in the last one here, number 5, it says, Georgia says that she knows 5 times 4 equals 20. She knows Arif will, will have saved more than $20. Is Georgia correct? Explain. And whenever they say explain, I'd like to see a complete sentence there. Okay? And that means I want you to also restate. And you will say, uh, Georgia is correct because, and explain why. Georgia is correct because... And that's where you're going to finish that sentence. Why is she correct? Why was George correct? Now we know because we solved it that she was correct. But tell me why. So if she says that 5 times 4 equals 20, you can tell what she's doing here is she's trying to estimate. She's trying to estimate. She says 5 times 4 equals 20 because that's an easy problem for her to solve, right? Most of you know how to skip count by fives. They're relatively easy. 5 times 4 equals 20. So then she can estimate that it has to be more than 20 because... She he didn't just save for five weeks, right? He saved for six weeks. So I want to see you write that out right there. Okay. Now uh, these are again the bar diagrams are helpful as a visual. Um, the equations are important because you're going to see a lot of equations that look like this. Now I said I would go back to this one and look at it as a multiplication problem as well, and you can write it out as a multiplication equation by doing something like this: three times i equals 24. In a lot of cases, especially when you get further into algebra, you're going to see, you're going to actually see x's in place of values that you don't know. You might even see a number just right up next to it. This would mean 3 times x, x meaning, meaning the unknown quantity equals 24. And that would be the same thing as 24 divided by 3 equals i or equals x, whatever the letter is that we're using to represent the unknown quantity. Okay. If you have any questions on this one, let me know.